All right, guys, good morning, good morning. Coach Tannis here. And a lovely plus degrees this morning, okay? I'm not dressed up as warm as I should be, but that's okay, I'm gonna work up a sweat. Anyways, today I'm gonna show you guys how to do a farmer's walk, uh, a sandbag carry at home. Yesterday was a farmer's walk. Hopefully you guys seen that video, liked it, and use it in your home program, anywhere program, okay? In your workouts, any way you can, okay? When the gyms open up, I'm hoping that you more people, I will get more people to do the farmer's walk. I'm hoping the same thing with this, okay? Sandbag carries. It's not a sandbag, okay? It's a pail with sand in it. You've seen that video where I put the sand in it. I would say it's about 75 pounds, okay? Until I get some rocks and some gravel, that's what I'm stuck with. Because you guys might have seen in my videos there where I'm doing 250, 300, I did 200 to 250 for like cardio. Most people do like 150, whatever, for a nice cardio session, okay? Did I mention that I bought three sandbags for the university and I hand them in? Wish I had them at home now. Anyways, what's gonna happen is we're gonna take a deep breath in. Fill up our core with air, fill up our belly with core, air, air. everything's tight and then we're gonna pull this towards us here, okay? And guys, we're not doing a curl, we're doing a pull, okay? Engage the core, the lats, bring it all in. It's a full body exercise, it's not a bicep exercise, okay? I've seen where people, oh my biceps are, yes of course they hit your bicep, but you turned it into a bicep exercise where you're actually holding it up as opposed to pulling it in, okay? And then when you pull it in, tomorrow you're gonna call me and say, hey coach, holy smokes, my upper back feels really good. I haven't gotten a workout like that for a long time. So, I do things a little bit differently, okay? It is not a sandbag, it is a pail. And you are not a professional strongman person and even in my practice, I usually don't teach people to lap the bag from the floor. Okay, I don't really see the point of risking injury like that. I'm just trying to get people in shape. I'm not trying to, whatever. You need a specific coach for that, go ahead. I can teach you, but it's not something I need to do in my practice or my client. I usually set up two stations. I got my step here and I got a chair over there. And that's my starting point. That could be my starting point. If I ever run out of air, okay, stable, I start getting a little bit soft, I start hunching forward a little bit, or start arching back, that's a good sign to take a break, okay? Just take a break. So, stay straight, stay stable. Once you don't have any more air inside you, I would just take it away, don't worry about it, okay? And um, yeah, so another thing I wanna teach you guys is that your first pass, let's just say you do 100 steps. You wanna go and write that down into your journal, okay? So you'd write down 100, 100. And then the next time you do this exercise, you will try to beat that 100, okay? So it's pro progressive resistance exercise. You always wanna do more than the last time, okay? so. If you did 100 steps on your first pass, the next time you do this exercise, that's the number you wanna beat, okay? It's not like, oh, last workout I did 1,000 steps, so this week I'm gonna do 1,100 steps. No, beat that first number, okay? Beat that first number. That's where all the gains are gonna lie, okay? So, one more time. I got two steps here, over there. Breathe through your nose, bring that air in, fill up your belly. Okay, so I'm nice and stable, and I'm gonna pull the weight towards me, and then I'm gonna start walking with a nice straight, okay? I'm not gonna be hunched forward, I'm not gonna be hunched back. If anywhere you lose your breath, if anywhere you start hunching forward, hunching back, stop it, don't worry about it, you're not in a competition, okay? So, I'm gonna
Let's go. Okay, just for information purposes, so I did uh, 112 steps, okay? I did 112 steps. Now, you write that down, okay? The next time you do this exercise, that first pass, you want to beat 112, okay? In the whole workout, you might say, hey, I want to do 1,000 steps, and that's great. I'm more interested in these numbers going in, so the first number, First pass was 112, okay? The next time I do, you do this exercise, not me, I'm just showing you guys. You're gonna beat that 112. I'm gonna go for another pass, I'm gonna tell you what to do after that. Okay guys, I'm not going to stop, but I just want to show you guys, I'm actually pulling this into me, okay? My lats are engaged. Should have worn something a little bit tighter, a little different color, but my lats are definitely engaged. I'm holding this. It's pulled into me, okay? What did I do? 38? So it's not like I'm letting it fall down as if I'm doing a curl. You're not letting it go force down. You're in control of the force. You're pulling it in. Okay, kind of like a seated roll. You're pulling it in, and then everything's engaged. Core, upper body, chest, arms, legs, of course. It's a full body exercise, okay? But if you're not as tight, not pulling in, and you're like a Lego box, and this is tight, that's tight, you're losing a lot of power here. This is not stable. So, anyways, so, let's just say that was f another 40 steps. So the next time you come back to do this exercise, the first step was 112 we established. You wanna do more than 112, okay? That's your first record. Then your second set, let's just say it was 40. The second set, the next workout, 
you want to do more than 40. You want to keep increasing those numbers. Okay, so let's just add another hundred. Okay, so yeah, but I'm just showing you guys, right? So the first one was 112, then I did 40, I just stopped to teach you guys, and that was one, 100. As these numbers keep accumulating, what do we got? 112, 40, and 100. When you look at your journal the next time, and hopefully you got a journal, <laughs> these are the numbers to beat, okay? At least the first few, because after now we're getting into the four, five, six hundred rep uh, steps, you're going to be fatigued, right? So it's not like you're going to try and beat those ones later on. You could, you could, but the first couple of ones are the ones, the numbers I, I want you to beat, okay? And it doesn't help when your neighbors are outside smoking cigarettes and uh, ruining your air, okay? I can't believe people still smoke in this day and age. All right, focus on your workout. Don't worry about other people. And go in. I'll do 50. All right, and sometimes if you want, you can bend over here, okay, and put it on your lap, and just kind of reset. Let's just say you're kind of sort of falling uh, out of air, falling out of tension. Maybe you just needed to reset the bag, okay? Or maybe you thought maybe you're leaning to one side or the other. I'm gonna talk about that. Okay, so it's a good thing, guys, when you, uh, so if you want to reset, legs, and then, Fill up the core with air. And go. Now, before I go, it's a good thing to record yourself because when you're going, when uh, you're gonna look from behind, you can see if your spine is tilted to one side or the other. You wanna be like a neutral, okay? If you're tilted to one side or the other, then you're probably not as tight as you wanna be or there's other issues involved. But you don't wanna to lean to one side. You wanna be favor. You don't want to be in favor of one side. You want to stay straight. Okay? 50. Mm -hmm. 
Sorry. Also speaking about the spine tilting to one side or the other, you also don't want your head to look down. Okay, you want to be straight. Okay, ears, shoulders, hips, knees. You want to be straight line, like a nice plumb line. You don't want to be, okay, shooting your neck forward. What is that, 70? One fifty three. So I got one twelve forty because I stopped. One hundred because I stopped. One fifty three. Okay. So again, guys, regroup. Take a little break. Relax. This is at home training. At outside the gym training. Don't worry about it. This is probably one of the best exercises you can do next to the farmer's walks. Okay. For the simple fact is that it's so demanding. There's a lot of weight. Okay, and you'll get a lot out of it, as opposed to these little glute exercises I see people doing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway, so I'm gonna go. Drink some water. Okay. Eighty. So guys, stay tight, pull in, you should feel your core, you should feel your abs going in, you should feel your lats, okay, pulling in with each step. So I've already done uh, one, two, three, four, done about 500, I'll count that. So, and you want to beat those numbers after. Maybe I'll do a graph for you guys. Okay, so.
Okay, there's another 100, and I'm at the 16 mark. Although you guys know I'm talking to you. I don't know what's wrong with my camera today. 100, so 112, 40, 152, 352, 52, 452, 505, 605. So, so far I've done 605 reps in one, two, three, four, five. So I did five sets. One, two, three, four, five. Five sets. So guys, that's basically what I'm trying to teach you. The next time you do this exercise, you should focus on at least the first three at the minimum. The first one, okay? The first one, which is 112, what is it, 112? That's the number you should beat, okay? Then you should progressively try and beat these set here. Not say, oh, I got a total of 1,000. Who cares if you got a total of 1,000? What did you do last time? The first set, 112. How much did you this time? Oh, you did 80. That means you did it worse. Make sense? The more you fatigue, the more you pull in. Fight it. This is where all the good stuff happens. Now you're tired. Now things are starting to break down. This is feeling weaker than that. Fight it. Pull it in. When you put down the weight, make sure your mouth is closed, okay? Because if that hits you with your mouth open, maybe it's going to chip a tooth or something. I know a lot of people don't think about that, but that's okay. 110. So 110 plus 705, 715. 715, 20 minutes, okay? My camera only records to 29, so that's why I keep looking at the screen like that, okay? Guys, right now I'm burning, and this is not even like a challenging weight for me. Because, you know, but it is, it is challenging me because I'm keep going non-stop. That's usually not how I train in a gym. I'll train heavy and then I'll take a few minutes rest. Train heavy, take a few minutes rest. Unless I'm showing off on Instagram, which I haven't done for years, but.
Okay, guys. Hold on, it's just uh, 110. 110 plus 715, that's 825. I gotta shut this video off now, hold on a sec. All right, I gotta reboot that. I don't know, my camera only records to 29 minutes. So, uh, what do we got? 825 steps, 24. All right, 100, so we're at 925. As you can see guys, as I was teaching you for the progression, these are not the things that you're gonna be, you can, but these are not the things you're gonna get better at. For example, one, two, three, four, five. On my fifth set, I did 100, and that was 605, 715 to 825. It's not always expected to do, that's what, one, two, three, four, five, six. On my sixth set, I was at 715, and then I went to 825. It's not always expected to do more steps between the 715 and an 825, okay? By this time, you're already spent, okay? It's the first three, four sets that you always want to beat, attempt to beat. Anyways, what do I need, 75 more? Let's just do it. Eighty. Eighty. So basically, one thousand five steps in twenty eight, twenty eight, 
23.05 minutes. Why is my camera so weird today? Hate it. Oh. Weird. Anyways. So guys, there's a, a sandbag workout with a cheap bail, a pail, sand. It's about 75 pounds, I, uh, I think. For your average female, that would be an incredible workout. Not a good workout, that would be an incredible workout. Not people I train, my clients do that. For people that have never done a sandbag carry before, as I said in my farmer's walk video, if you've never done this before, as a strong professional opinion, if you start doing this now, if you got what I got here, you can walk, you can do something in a park, you can go back and forth. If you've never done farmer's walks or sandbag carries before, pale carries, trust me, you don't really have too much to worry about. Losing my gains, I'm gonna lose my muscles, <laughs> I'm gonna lose my cardio. I don't think so. This is good stuff, okay? So, put it in there, okay, start light. Uh, Okay, you got this. Grab it around. Okay. If something falls, something falls. I mean, you can put your, uh, you can wrap that around in a um, pillow, pillowcase, pillow uh, thing. That way, if it falls, it's not going to fall on your feet. You know what I mean? A lot of these stuff, guys, that I'm seeing that these guys are doing at home. Really dangerous, really stupid. Maybe I need to do another uh, personal trainers I, uh, I hate video. Okay, so basically, that's it's cheap, because like I said, even if you only have five bucks, go yourself a pail, go get sand and gravel or rocks anywhere. I'm pretty sure you can find that for free. Put that in, and then, um, yeah. If your living room is only from there to there, oh well, man, that's life. It could be worse. Okay, so I, if you guys like, subscribe, share. Maybe I'll do a video on progression, on how to do these strongman stuff, progression wise, okay? If you're not progress, if you're not progressively overloading your system, you're not gonna make the gains. Dare I say you won't make gains, and dare I say you won't make the gains that you are you should be making, because you're already working, so you might as well get the most out of it, right? But you could be working and getting zero out of it. You think I don't know people that have worked out for 15, 20 years, and that are wasting their life in the gym doing 15 reps, week in, week out with the same weight, because they don't want to get bigger? You're not getting anything, buddy. <laughs> I know I sound mean and it doesn't win me uh, doesn't win me anything, but you know what? It's the truth. So that's it. Okay? Get that in, a thousand steps. That was a good cardio workout anywhere. Okay? Don't think that the treadmill or whatever is better than this. It's absolutely not. Okay? Use with enough challenging weight. The treadmill and the sandbag carries, farmer carries, are on a different planet, okay? Look at the people that do the treadmill. Dare I say they look pathetic, they look out of shape. Ooh, they can run on the treadmill. Have you seen one of these guys get into a fight at the bar or start doing manual labor work if somebody calls you and you gotta start moving furniture? There's an earthquake and these guys gotta start moving heavy stuff. Do you think those guys on the treadmill are gonna help you? You haven't been in the gym long enough to know that answer. I have. Don't even bother. You want to be big and strong and mobile and functional, as they say. Start lifting heavy stuff, okay? So now everybody's at home. Everybody's got no gym. But actually, I showed you two of the best ways. 
get two pails, sand, rocks, flour, water, whatever, gravel, do whatever. Just don't start picking up furniture and stuff, guys. I see somebody doing Iron Man. I gotta do a video on this. All right, Coach Tan is out. I uh, hope you guys like that. 28 minutes of working out. I'm gonna do some bands and stuff. Should I record that? Anyways, I should uh, end this video for this one here, okay? All right, like, subscribe, share. Coach Tannis out. Hopefully you guys got something on that. I would really, really like to do a progression video on this. Is anybody gonna like it, my video? Is anybody gonna watch my video? Is anybody gonna comment on my video? It's one thing to just press record and upload. Cause I was gonna do this anyways. <laughs> okay. It's a different thing when you say, hey, let me teach a couple of people this, or let me, you know, I don't have to teach my clients that. I'm doing it, <laughs> okay? If I'm gonna post stuff like that online, it's gonna be worth my time. Otherwise, I would just go and find another client <laughs> and make money, <laughs> or help out a client that may need more help. Always give your all to the clients you have before you start looking for clients that you can't handle, you can't service. Okay, but like I said, if you guys were liking, subscribing, and there was a followers, and people, you know, were watching it, then yeah, I would love to do something like that to teach you guys how to do progressive overload on these carries because people aren't doing it. Coach Tanis out. Okay, have a beautiful day. I'm not gonna stop this because I'm gonna. I'm gonna do some band exercise if you wanna join me, fine. If not, have a beautiful day, okay? The problem is, I'm not allowed to live stream, stream, because I don't have a thousand followers. Like I said, press and record, and just going through the motions that I'm going to go through anyways. You see me, I'm... A lot of trainers, a few that I know are streaming their stuff, and they're good trainers. Although they're kind of more screwing around, but that's fine. They mean well. But yeah, I would do it, but I don't have the followers.
as you see, after you do the sandbag carries for the farmer's wax, you can start doing some scratching stuff like these lunges, and you got the resistance band to add a little bit of tension there. Jesus, man, my camera is no good today. I don't like it. I'm here to put the recording on for the for the time. Ah. Time stands still when you're having fun.
Alright guys, plus five, sorry. Feels like my uh, one. What's wrong with my camera? I hate it. So dark. Anyways, I've been outside for about an hour. Did my uh, carries, did some lunges and some squats with the bands. I'm good. Hope you guys are too. As you can see, once you do a lot of squats, a lot of lunges, it's not hard to get a great workout anywhere, anytime, every day. Okay. Coach Tan is out. Like, subscribe, share. We have a really nice freaking live stream. Maybe I should go back on Instagram so I can live stream on Instagram. That's an idea, eh? Just press record and go. Anybody want to watch, learn something? Since I can't do it on YouTube, since nobody watches my video, YouTube hides my video, Twitter hides my video, Pinterest hides my video. Who else? Oh, WordPress hides my video. All right, guys, Coach Tennis out. Have a beautiful day.